And um, what do we estimate on? We estimate on story point. So what is story point? Um, story point is a unit of, uh, for expressing an item of the overall um, effort required to fully implement a backlog item or any other piece of work. So for example, if we have had from the poor backlog, which we know is, um, is a continuous uh, margin workload to be um, done, the, during the life uh, time of a, of, of a product, items will now be pulled for the spring backlog. So the, from the um, pro backlog, the ones that are ready. So how do we um, um, give them continuous uh, margin? So how um, the unit of measure for each of the items that will be in the product backlog, then it's an it's just an abstract me measurement it doesn't really mean anything but it means something to each team what um, story point means to this team might not be the same as uh, that to the story point so within a team the team needs to understand what this what the story point is telling what it is and why um it has been advocated that story point uh better used than um having hours that's another story for another, for, for another day. So, but here we're just using um, story point. And of, of, of very much important is that teams assign story points relative to work complexity, the amount of work and risk or uncertainty. This relative has been a major uh, case for concern for teams. Teams that have worked on to, um, to assist, so I, I found out that um, this relative has been removed even from their from their estimation. Team um, just normally want to go into um, the the estimation and then just estimate work, but it's supposed to be relative. By relative, what do we mean? So you can say five and three um, on this side. These three, this alpha has been said to be three, and this five. So the relative here is how do we arrive at uh, five for 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 this. So relative means um, there will be a baseline story. There will be a baseline item that we are comparing all other items that we are estimating on. For example, we say this uh, apple has been given three. Salupa. Yes. There's like some background noise that we're noticing. I don't know if your uh heads your mic is a little too close to your um mouth or something everybody's noticing it i was noticing it a little bit too right so i'm using i'm using my yeah maybe it was a little too close okay let me change it sorry about that let me see yeah and i will use it seems to be fine now. Maybe it was just a little, you had it a little too close to your mouth. I don't know. So, Everybody's saying that's better now. However you have it now is perfect. What about now? Is, is yes, that is now? perfect. Yep. All right. Sorry about that. Maybe it's supposed to close my mouth. Yeah, sorry. Yep. All right. Thank you. Yeah. So I was saying that um, story points are assigned relative to a known piece of work. But so the question now arises: What about if a team is just new and they don't have any story to baseline? Thank God for Scrum. Thank God for Ag for Agile. Yes, it's allowed to assume. It's allowed to make a, an an informed guess and say, okay, we let we are starting on the first note, and so we all come together and agree that um, this story we can give it uh, this number of story point because. Um, um, Scrum is based on empiricism. The more we know about the story, the better uh, understanding we have. The more we know about the work, the, 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 the much understanding we have about it. So we are allowed. And therefore, a team that is already mature, they've gone through several sprints, 
I'm sure they have a story that they, everyone is quite aware of. Everyone knows how, how this uh, came about, why we assigned um, the, um, this number of story points to, to, to this. So they can use such as a, uh, as a baseline. But at the end of it all, what works for a team is what works for a team. Uh, it allows to that for flexibility and then um, to carry on once we are delivering on our spring goal and our, on our product goal and the team our velocity. And then um, my important one is the team happiness is constant and we are all getting things done. Yeah, we can tweak things a, a bit, but from the book, it's a um, relative um, estimation. We, we build our story point based on a known piece of work. Yeah, but it's all this, um, and what is story point? Story point comes as what will be needed, the risk that will be needed to get a story, the risk, it involves the risk, the complexity, the dependency, the amount of work to be done, and the business value. That's how uh, we arrive at giving a story point to, to the particular work item. How risky is it to develop this piece of work? What is the complexity around, around the piece of work? Is this piece of work, is it depending on some other piece of work within the team or outside the, 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 the team? And you know when it comes to dependency, if dependency is outside the team that we cannot, put, we cannot con, con, control, there are other measures that we need to apply. If it's within the team, that we can control, we know how to move things around. Maybe um, the, uh, the the item that the, uh, the one we're about to work on is depending on money to move it forward. It, it automatically becomes of high value too with this um, current sprint. Then, then the amount of work, which is um, relative, the amount of work can, can so we can think that um, at the start of the work, we're going to do this amount of work and then when we start to explore more, find out that uh, more will be needed on, on it. That's why um, um, giving it two hours, three hours may not necessarily may not be um, an ideal thing. Then the business value, what are, what's the business thing we should develop now? What does the customer want? That's all, um, all of these and even many more are considered in arriving at story point. Thank <laughs> you.